Good evening and welcome to the Northern Community Center here in Sault Ste. Marie with I'm Rod Trudeau, this and with John Ostrowski. Chris Carr is on the camera sitting on a perch and Jay is over in the studio. We've got the game here. Uh, the Sioux Greyhounds, unfortunately, at this OHF, they uh, will not carry on, but this will be the last evening these players, some of them play in this sweater. Yep. So John's gonna let you know who the graduating players are. Absolutely, congratulations to these young men. Number two, Javon Johnson. Number, hold on, let me get my numbers out. I do apologize for that. Number 14, Sam Gravel. Number 21, SDR, Sebastian Doris. Number 33, AJ Borelli. Number 20, Camden Cowan. And number 15, Wyatt LeBlanc. And happy birthday to the trainer, Louis. It is his nice. 50th today. Wow. Great. So now we're going to let the PA announcers, he'll do whose starting lineups are. We'll get to the goalies after the uh, national anthem. And welcome back here to Sault Ste. Murray. And we're gonna go to John for the starting goalies. Your starting goaltenders for today, number 25, the 15 year old Nick Marson. He's been quite the steady backup for the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. Hard to even say he was a backup. Yeah, no, I think they've rotated yeah, the goalies pretty with much. With the way he's played yeah. this year and the amount of games he's gotten this year. Yeah. It's been pretty nice to see him now. The OMHA ninth ranked goalie with a goals against average of 195 and three shutouts. Aiden McParlin, this guy's a stud. Here we go. Collins gets that puck back to the Defense here of the Markham Waxers. Waxers, Govindaris, he dumps that in. Johnson and Collins are pressuring. Cowan's out there, he gets the puck for the Hounds, dumps it in. Now it goes back, Burke. Burke's on it hard, but he 
Is he able to do anything, but it gets rimmed around the boards. Johnson sends it up to Collins. Collins comes across the blue line. He's got Govindaris with him, but he gets hammered by Reggett. Reggett sends it to Cowan. Cowan breaks the blue line. He's gonna get to take a shot. Goes off the skate into the corner. Doss Reese is there. He rings it right in front of the net, hoping someone's there to just get it out, get it freely, but they're unable to do so, and the Hounds will get a change. Schultz, Fretchers, Govindaris comes in over the blue line. He's breaking in. Tied up by Reggett a bit. No call there. Reggett knocks him down now, and then he gets a call. Yeah, there's a penalty there. You said it would be against uh, Cole Reggett there? Yeah, I'm not sure why. It, the first one seemed like it should have been called over the second time. Yeah. But uh, it, it is what it is, so, you know. <clears throat> oh, and there it is. And the trainer of the Sioux Greyhounds getting a happy birthday wish, just like we gave him one on the stream. So we're gonna puck drop here, pick it, it's out there. He's trying to win that and he can't do so. Scott is back in after two game uh, suspension, unfortunately, but so they've got that gritty player back, which is great. Yeah. And there's 92 Johnson on it. And uh, sorry, pardon me. That was uh, nine Watson. He, Oh, is that another penalty? No, he gloved the head, I think. Sorry? I think it was gloved the head by 92, so it's going to go all the way down to Watson's. Okay. Well, there you go. Or, that was Nathan uh, Helfenstein. Yeah, no, out. Oh, so we've got Mikro Giannikis out there, Helfenstein, and Piggott for the uh, Waxers up front. And, and there's Bell McDonald, and uh, he'll go there. They got four guys out there, so... Klontalainen and Watson on the back end of this PK. They go 1-1-2 one, one, here, and the Waxers break up. The uh, forwards crisscross up top. Pickett sends it back to the defenseman, goes over to Miko Giannikas. He's got the puck now, back to the D, back to Miko, and nice shot. Beautiful save by Marsons. Yep. He's on there now. Miko Giannikas has it again. He comes in, breaks to go in, Burt's on it, takes a shot high, comes out. Uh, Conta Lyons able to get a, puck on, a stick on him, but can't get it out. Miko Giannikas comes around the net. He puts it in front, and there it goes in off the pad of Marsons, and he puts it on the left side. And that's Helfenstein's first of the tournament, and that's going to be a good one for him as he's in the right place at the right time in the low slot. Nobody even close to him and that's going to be the first goal of the game and what I was going to say we were just talking about Helfenstein uh, thank you to his mother for coming up on Monday and letting us know how to properly pronounce his name that uh, she let us know it was a German Swiss name and they oftentimes have to deal with mispronunciations and here yeah. we go and it's back to Johnston Johnston he'll cross it over to Gravel Gravel will send it up to Albert Albert misses that so he'll get another icing so the puck will come all the way back into the Hounds territory here with this power play is all over for the Waxers now. So it's back to five on five hockey and the Cowman lines out there for the Hounds and they're up against number 14. Butt takes the draw for the Waxers and he reel sends it over to Johnston. Johnston sends it to Albert who gets crushed. Cowan's on it. He misplays it and goes to Butt. Butt back to number five for the Waxers. Koza, Koza up to number 34, Wharton, but he's unable to play that. And there's Koza again. Koza to Wharton. Wharton, he's got it. He's got Solomon and Koza with him as well. And Butt keeps it in. Goes all the way behind the net. Johnston's on it, but there's Wharton. And it's put down to the corner and Dupuis able to get it out to LeBlanc. LeBlanc tries to get around the defenseman. He stops at the hash marks, throws it in front of the net. Unfortunately, Dupuis couldn't get a stick on that. And there's number 58, Solomon, on the puck. And it comes, rings around the boards and comes all the way out. Reggett has it. He plays that up and it's able to be tipped in by Caruso and it goes all the way deep into Waxer territory. Now the Waxers are gonna try and work that puck out of their end and they're able to do so, no problem. Govindaris gets that puck. He's got a guy high in the slot, Ooh. but he decides to take the shot instead. Collins turns and wings it and he almost hit Govindaris on the sidewall there. McDonald breaks the blue line. There's the shot, he just hits the pad of the defenseman and they're able to clear again. 
McDonald's out there buzzing around. Govindaris has Collins. Johnson's on it. Bell picks it up for the Hounds. And the defense are able to get it out for the Hounds. And Dos Reese moves the other way. He's got McDonald as well with him. Oh, Dos SDR. Reese to the net. There we go. Oh, there's one shot. Dos Reese rebound. And Bell tried to put it in. And he couldn't get that rebound in. And it's... Uh, stoppage of play to the left of the Waxers goalie. And did you see how Sebastian Dory, he just, as soon as he crossed the blur, blue line, he turned up. That's what players like SDR do, just being able to hit that extra stride and, and outspeed the defenseman, make it look so easy. So here we go, the Waxers turn in their own end, and they're going to work to get the puck out. They get up to Collins. Collins to Johnson. Johnson works in. He breaks away from Contalainen. Contalainen trips him up which may have been an all right penalty there is if he would have blown by, he would have been on the goalie by himself. So Govindaris has a puck, but McDonald almost gets a stick on it. Mankiss gets there. Johnston now back to Man, nope, back to Collins. Collins inside, shots, save oh. by. Uh, oh, is that a penalty? Marsons, yeah, the Hounds had a delayed call there. Oh. So they were waiting to get uh, there, but Marsons made a beautiful save. And uh, just wonder if you happen to see the penalty, if uh, uh, or we might have to hop onto the stream and find the replay and give our two cents on it. Anyways, here we go, Escasa, as he gets the puck drop here, and it's now down five on four once again. And here comes number eighteen, Di Berdino. He spins and just dumps it all the way down and kills some time off that clock. Now the Waxers, they will pick the puck. And they start to work their way out. It goes back to Burt. Burt sends it over to Miko Giannikas. He got, he has it, sends it to the top of the circle. Here he goes, shoots, no in there. Miko, he go gets the, gets the puck there. Back to Burt again, Burt. Sends it back to Miko Giannikas again. He's got the puck, sends it back to Burt. Burt's looking to go cross ice back to her. You can tell that kid wants the puck. Yeah. Burt. So looks up, he sends it over. Johnson, or Collins. And number 78, Burt takes a shot on that. And oh, Miko Gionic has almost put it in the top corner. 92's out there as well, we gotta remember oh. that. Miko almost deflected that up in top. 17 as well, Piggott's out there. And here we go. That is 27. And he, uh, the defenseman misplayed that and they have to go all the way back and grab that puck. 1D man kiss will get a change and there goes Bird off. Now they break out. Oldenhoff, he gets the puck. Breaks the red line, goes across. Collins is on the blue line now. He stays there to, to uh, take Oldenhoff's spot. Oldenhoff sends to Collins. Collins, he's gonna go in now as the Oldenhoff's back in his position. It goes back to the side wall. Back all the way to Johnston. Johnson's on his knees. Then here goes the Hounds. They're gonna try and get it out. Caruso has a puck. He's one on one now. Here he goes. Takes a shot. Scores! <laughs> Top tenner. There we go. These Greyhounds are in it. And the building explodes with that little wrister over top of McParland. Sammy Caruso, a 16 year old. Nice little snapper. Uh, was just a beauty, just right over the left shoulder of Aiden McParland. And here we go, 1-1 one, one hockey game, 13 minutes left to go. And that was a shorthanded goal, actually. Yeah, wow. Sure. Here we go, so Cowan, Cowan has the puck, sends back to Johnston. Johnston sends it up, Cowan has it. He's gonna take his time, and the penalty is over here. So there's uh, McDonald who took the spot of the guy coming out of the box. Watson sends Johnston into the corner. This is what they have to do. They gotta take time and space away from the Waxers and keep them to the outside here. So, and we have a shot from the Hounds there. And that looks like that was DiBertino. And you can hear the crowd approving of that Caruso goal. That's his first of the tournament. And one shot, one goal for the Greyhounds. Cannot be the start, the Waxers. Well, the start's been good, I suppose. It's just that one shot, they really would like to have that back. So Cowan takes the draw here, and he gets it back. 
Comes all the way back to Watson. Liam Watson takes a shot, and the Waxers goalie will just freeze that up quickly. And your games tomorrow, the number two seed Markham Waxers will be taking on the Vaughn Kings at 12 noon. And the number one seed undefeated Waterloo Wolves will take on the Ottawa 67s at around three. And catch both those games on Sioux Sports TV and True House Radio. Here comes Watson's gonna pinch. He pinches Alberts, drops back for him. And DiBerdino's in there for checking. Albert switches spots with Watson and Watson's there, pick it. He's the captain, he dumps it in. Contalinen's after, puts, tries to put his man into the boards. There's Cowan, he's got some speed. He chips it up to Albert, but then he gets it back. Breaks across the red line, and he's unable to get it in. Pickett's all over him right now. And Plopiff, he's up on the wall, waiting for a pass, doesn't get it. Pickett has it, Pickett dumps it all the way in, and the Waxers will chase it, but there's Contalinen and Johnston. Johnston gets it, he goes out the side there, no one's there, and he gets the wall, sends it up, but the Greyhounds, Schultz is unable to get that buck, and there's the shift, first time I've seen Caleb Walker on there, and let's see what kind of game he has today. Yeah. You know, that's a that's a double A player that was called up, he's playing in a tournament that's supposedly, these are the best players in Ontario, and you gotta say, you know, that kid has stood out actually. Yeah, a, he has. A, a lot to be that type of player and a double A player. And he doesn't look out of place there. So here's those threes. Those threes takes the shot. Here he comes, tries, he gets the rebound. He turns around, lets it go again. Bell now, Bell gets on it. But those threes is back in there and he's fighting hard for it. He gets hit by them, but McDonald picks it up, sends it across to Reggett. Reggett, he puts it down to those threes. Those threes sends it out front. Unable to get it too far, so Bell picks it up. Bell back to Reggett. Reggett back to Bell. Bell decides he's gonna shoot. Yep. And there's a pad and it goes off. Wharton's this going the other way to the Hounds. Ooh. Shot, Marson, save. And then he number 56 Solomon gets, a, or 58 gets a shot and it just goes over the top glove of uh, Marson's. Uh, here's the Hounds, but they get pickpocketed. Johnson, or pardon me, um, that's number 92, Hef Health. Yeah, Pardon me, Helfenstein, and he just missed the puck there. There's McDonald, he's playing it hard. He gets it in right on the goalie, but no one's there to get the rebound. McDonald's in there on the hash marks again. He's able to play the puck, and Bell comes to help him out. McDonald has it again, shot, hits, hits someone. Now they, they go the other way. That was Miko Giannikas, and there's Watson. Liam Watson goes back, hits the bricks, turns, goes the other way. Hits the centerman coming out. That would be Dupuy. Dupuy chips it and he goes in after it. Man kisses on it. And there is, it's actually reversed, but Man Kiss missed it and now he has it again. He flicks it up and they try to get it out, but he can't. Escosta's on it on the back end. Now, number 13, Dupuy's chasing. Escosta tries to go over to help him out and real changes. So number 14, Gravel will play the puck. And it goes back to five, uh, six, Johnston. He loses oh, it no. to Collins. Collins has it. And there it goes to Miko, and they score! And yeah, it's a great goal by the Markham Waxers, but you heard my own no for the sake of the Greyhounds because it just felt like as soon as that turnover happened, the Waxers are too good of a team to not capitalize on an opportunity like that right in front of the goaltender. That's going to be Mikro Giannikis with a goal with the Thompson Hardwood flooring goal. So the Hounds will uh, line up and see if they can get that back. 9.45 left in this uh, first period. Lots of hockey left, so here we go. And there's a dump in by uh, Oldenhoff. He gives it in, reels all over it. He's trying to fight for that puck. There's Govindaris, he gives it to Collins, or uh, Johnson. Johnson, he tries to do something, but there's 18 DiVerdino. He just dumps it into the waxer zone and uh, they're after it again. Puck's moved up to Govindaris, Govindaris moves. He goes across the blue line, now he's in on it. He hits the bricks, tries to put it to someone, and he turns, spins, and he blindly shoots it on net, nothing there. Senkai sends it in. Govindaris just lets the puck go, and Colin sends it back to Oldenhoff. It's a shot on net. Nice little Marsons pushed it to the corner though. Now it comes back out, but real mis makes mistake, Ooh. and that goes off the post and comes back out. And there's DiBerdino. DiBerdino 
He gives it up to Cowan. Cowan now. He works backwards now. Reggett sends it over to Real. Real. Albert. Now they just can't get that puck out. Johnson. And they'll make a save, and I'm sure they'll make a change. Yeah, nice and easy for Nick Marson. And you're right, it will be a change for both sides here. 7.05 p.m. in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. We thank you between from our view for our viewers in the Markham region in the Sault Ste. Marie area and everywhere in between. Thank you for your support. And they, they take the draw and the Greyhounds there will try to get the puck out of their end now. And uh, that's LeBlanc. LeBlanc has the puck and they'll move. And now it goes back. William Watson will have to get it. Liam Watson reverses it on himself and then he breaks out and he hits the far winger on the left there. That was Cruz of the goal scorer. The Markham goalie comes out of the net and he puts it up to Popov. Popov sends it out, but it's all the way down to Kontalainen. Kontalainen comes and he's trying to get it to the blue line. He's unable to do so. Sends it over to Popov. Popov is shoes, goes off the screen and we'll get a stoppage play. Just up and over, and you're right, it will be a stoppage in play, and the Markham Waxers have a lot of OHL players on their roster. Senkai was a 14th round draft pick from Barry. Kyle Butt was a 12th round draft pick from Windsor. Mankiss was a 10th rounder from Flint. Wilkinson, who is unfortunately not here today, is a 13th rounder for Flint, and Collins was a 14th rounder for Owen Sound. Yep, nice, so downs, trying to still get it out of there. Onan, Escoss is on it, and Escoss gets up and tries to get it out. There he's got it again, and they're desperately trying to get it out yeah. here. And there's a hit on Piggott, Piggott. Johnson, Johnson comes back. He can't get the puck out either. Caleb Walker's in there trying to help out. And it comes out front. Here's comes to the D, they shoot. And it goes over and unable to keep it in, so it comes back. Number seven, that's Masadi. He has it. Get, Reggett gets it from the Hound, sends Johnston, and then Schultz picks it up. And they just cannot get it into the yeah. Waxer's end. There's Miko Giannis again. Sends it back, and Reggett. Reggett will move the puck up to Escasa. Escasa dumps it all the way down. They'll get a change here. And the goalie plays it. Then the Waxers move it up, and look out. Here comes Miko. He breaks in and uh, oh! he puts the Hounds player, McDonald, down on his butt. And McDonald sends it, and not on purpose, that's for sure. Just made a slight error, and the puck came out. And uh, luckily, Marsons was tuned in and was able to just freeze it up quick. Absolutely, yeah. This, uh, this Markham team's always tuned in. They are just a well-oiled hockey machine. They're very, very well coached. Their coach, Dan Douse, definitely is... A phenomenal hockey coach. Here we go, and it's down below, and LeBlanc, or uh, Bell's on it. Bell sends it up to McDonald. McDonald up to Dos Ries. Dos Ries chases it against Burt, and he's beating him. He's in behind the net, but there's uh, more help for Burt, so goes the other way. Reels, there's a chase. Here we go, he hits in on it. Nice save by Marson. hits the shoulder, takes away the space where the puck could have been. And there we go. Markham sends it all the way up. Real, Real has it now. He brings it back to his other D, Reggett. Reggett tries to send to McDonald. McDonald sends it to Bell. Bell moves it to Dos Reese. Dos Reese puts it on net and we get a save. Shots thus far, four, five for the Hounds after that one. 10 for the Markham Waxers. Score is two to one. Five minutes, 52 seconds left to go in period number one. And scores from earlier in the day. Ottawa 8, Timmins 5, that was the early game. Waterloo 3, Vaughn 1. And this one, like I said, currently sitting at 2-1. Cowan. Cowan wins the draw. And there it goes. He loses it. Govin Govindaris is away. He tries to get there, but nice stick check by Albert. Then it comes to the back. Woldenhoff, he puts it in there. It comes out. And there it is again. Shot. Oh, Ooh. big save. Marson's butt. There's Johnson on the rebound, and he just puts it in the net, no problem. There's number 91, Matthew Johnson, 15th overall in scoring in the Ontario minor, or made, yeah, OMHA rather, and he is 
just a great player. He's able to put it in. I believe that's his first goal of the tournament. And he's wearing one of the A's for the Markham Waxers for good reason. He is one of the oldest players on this team, one of the biggest players. 6'2", 175. Pretty good body for a big, bruising left winger like he is. And it's going to be 3-1 to one for the Waxers. Here we go, Gravel. And there's Johnson that. again. Gravel plays the puck. Then he gets it out. And number eight, Caruso, will chase it. He's got Dupuy with him. Caruso gets it. He banks it back to LeBlanc. LeBlanc puts it back to Johnston. Johnston all the way across to Gravel. And Caruso dumps it in deep, and LeBlanc's after it fast. Senkai's back there. They try to put the puck out, and they're able to do so. There's Collins. And up to Govindaris. Govindaris and Collins. Back to Collins. Nice. Oh. Then it goes back door, but there's Marsons makes the save. Good save by the goaltender Marson Looks able like to clean it up. We've got a penalty, maybe. Yeah, there's a Waxers player slow to get slash. up. Slash. And it will be a slash against. That uh, will be against the Sioux Greyhounds, correct? Yeah, I'm just not. It looks like it might be the goalie. Oh really? No, it's oh, it's Oldenhoff. There's Oldenhoff. Sorry, I didn't see that. So, looks like the Hounds are gonna have a chance here. No, yeah, and they will go on the PP. So we've got our power play by. Power play by is. JD. Yes, JDM Sports. I was looking for my note, and as you said it, I found it. So <laughs> power play sponsor, JDM Sports. Thank you very much for supporting Sioux Sports. Yeah, so uh, here we go on the power play. Sorry, uh, it gets dumped all the way down. Yeah, and it's dumped all the way down. Goaltender Marson rallies it. Now here is, oh, nice little move by Liam Watson, the 14-year-old. And he's going to get held into the boards. He's going to give the puck. Here comes number 20, Camden Cowan. Cowan streaks in, looks for his man, finds Watson. Watson at the point, waits for McDonald. Here's McDonald. Shot blocked by Mankis. McDonald just gloves the puck and puts it back down. Here is Watson. Watson waits, gives it. And now here's number 20, Cowan. Walks in looking for a man, looking for the pass in the slot, but no one's there. Number 60 was shot. He shoots, he oh, scores! What a bullet from Bell. Number nine, sorry, number 16, Colson Bell, the 16 year old 07 born player with a rocket of a shot. It's a brand new hockey game, 405. Five total goals in this period. Three waxers, two greyhounds. And that is a. Thompson, Hardwood, Floor, a finishing goal. They're right in the West End on the way to, go, to the arena, right They're, on second yeah, line. they are. So here we go. We've got Escasa, Schultz, and Caleb Walker out there. Reggett moves back to get the puck, though. Reggett, he starts to go the other way, but he turns, gives it to his partner, Real. Real has it. He stops, and he makes his way out in front of the net. Sends it over to Schultz. Schultz tries to go by... Wharton, unable to do so. And Walker retreats, goes back into his own end and sends it to Schultz. Schultz makes a move to the puck finally, and he's un they're unable to keep it out. Here comes Real, Real. Here's the centerman, he's circling. Instead they send it over to the winger and they just can't hit the winger. And they seem to be really off on their passing right now. Yeah. So hopefully uh, they'll slow down here and get their nerves in check. And uh, they'll go back out flying in the second two. So here we go. That's the Waxers trying to kill it. Piggott. He stays. Oh, sorry. The penalty is killed. Yeah. Cowan's out there. Cowan tries to chip it up to Albert. He's able to do so. Albert just can't get it out. Miko Giannik is all over him. And it's sent back into behind the net, and uh, Gravel rims it all the way around. And uh, now Albert has it. He gives it back to Gravel. Gravel puts it up to Scoss. Scoss is unable to do much with it. Johnston tries to get it out. He almost gave it to the Waxers player who almost put it in the net. And there's uh, Real or Gravel all over uh, Piggott again. And Oldenhoff has it. Takes the shot. Nice save. And. Uh, Piggott all over his player once again. He is really strong on the puck. And there we go, 19, Albert. He tries to move it out, he does so, but 19 takes it away from Elfenstein. And he's able to turn, and here he goes the other way. Two minutes left, Whoa! big hit on him. Johnston 
just rocks him. And it goes the other way. LeBlanc, LeBlanc crosses the line, crisscrosses, sends it towards the net, and the goalie will glove it and put it down, and we'll get a stoppage of play. Shots are Waxers 14, Hounds 7. Sure doesn't feel like the Waxers are doubling the Hounds in shots, no, no, does not it? At all. It's a really evenly matched game, and sure, the Waxers might be getting more pucks on net. That usually does lead to success, don't get me wrong. But the Hounds are playing a darn good game offensively as well. Yeah, for Already sure. two goals in the first period. So the Hounds player, centerman, he gets kicked out, LeBlanc, so Dupuis can move in. And Caruso's on the other wing there. Liam Watson back end sent to Contaline and Contaline and dumps it in deep. And there goes Dupuy. He's going to go and fight for it. Comes out front, shot on net. Comes back up front. LeBlanc shoots. And there it's, it's oh my open. goodness! And Caruso just misses the puck. Contaline and back to the point. He takes another shot. Deflection. Just misses. Almost goes through the five hole. Contaline and will have to backtrack and give it back to Liam Watson. What a, a uh, progression there. And LeBlanc sends it up into the middle. There it goes. Sent up high. And Liam Watson tries to get it in deeper. He's unable to do so. But he's still on the puck there. He's fighting hard. He sees that there's no one really down there, so he sends it to the wall. And now 18, DiBerdino gets it. And, and where'd he go? And now <laughs> six, McDonald's out there now. So... Did DiBerdino just not jump on the ice and then jump off? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. So I have no I, idea. I must have read the number wrong. Oh, yeah. Wait, there is a 16. You might have thought oh, that was Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So Okay. It might have been Bell. So pardon my uh, call there. And so Bell will take the draw. 56 Bell's seconds on, left. Uh, yeah, he's against Butt. Reg it. Rims it to McDonald. McDonald. Puts it all straight across the Dos Reese. Dos Reese dumps it up to LeBlanc. There they go. LeBlanc has it. He tries to step away from the D. Back to Dos Reese, he shoots, he just misses wide. And the defenseman clear it out, and Reggett will have the puck. There's 36 seconds left. And Dos Reese, he tries to send it wide. Pig, or uh, Puapif has it. He dumps it in, Reggett's back for it. And there's a hit, almost from behind. 95 has it for the, uh, that's Gardner. And it comes out front in, Bell has it, Bell. He tries to just get it out and he's able to do so. And there's Dos Reese and he just misses the puck on the stick check, 10 seconds left. Man kiss, he moves towards the net and dumps it back to his deep but no one's home. And there's McDonald, he only has four seconds left. And the puck has to go on net. Caleb Walker shoots and uh, he gets a shot on net, so like good for him. And that ends the period, 3-2 for the waxers but what a great period for these greyhounds yeah. and uh, it's going to be a nice uh, game going into the second absolutely shots after one says 10 to 14 for the waxers in my on the arena but in my box score it says 15 to 9 for the waxers so i will go with the arena count shots are 14 to 10 for markham after one period, and we will take our 15-minute coffee break right now for Rod Trudell. My name is John Ostrowski, and for the rest of Sioux Sports TV, we will be back.
Welcome back to second period action here in Sault Ste. Marie for this OHF last game of the round robin series. The Greyhounds last game of the season. And they are putting on a little bit of a show here for the fans at least. And uh, both teams line up for the draw. And here we go, Bell. He beats Collins, but they send it back to uh, their defense. Burke gives it up to Johnson. Johnson breaks in, bells in on it deep. Govindaris chips the puck, but it comes all the way across to LeBlanc. LeBlanc plays it right to Dos Reis. Dos Reis breaks in. He's got a great shot, comes all the way up and hits the mesh. And it's going to puck out of play, and as... As this game goes on, the OHL draft is also taking place, and we will be heavily monitoring that and bringing you any relevant information to this tournament from that tomorrow. So even if your team doesn't happen to be in the playoff games, be sure to watch and get some great information. There's an interception. Oh, by here we go. Yeah, that's Goldman Dares. He's headed the other way. He's got his teammates to it. There's Johnson. He shoots, and there goes that water bottle. It goes and stands straight up on itself straight up it looked like it didn't we you know those kids play that yeah, game so the NHL game. beautiful <laughs> goal that went from Govindares over to Collins over to Johnson and then top and there's Matty Johnson's second goal today after having a goalless tournament he has turned it on today I said he's a big imposing forward standing at 6-2 he's not a small guy and He's scary coming down that wing. Oh, for sure. Liam Watson has the puck now off the draw. So after that goal, making it 4-2. It gets dumped in. Albert's going to try and pinch it. Cowan's on it. Cowan can't get it in very deep. Miko Giannikas goes the other way. That's offside. Blonda. And will be Luca Blonda. It will be so, a uh, um, face -off. Wow. Look at that. I'm, I am going to say something now. And uh, 12th overall for, wait. J for the to the Sudbury Wolves, Luca Blonda. Sioux St. Marie native. The Blonda name is one I have heard a lot. Even someone who's not from here. They yeah. got so many athletes in that family. Well, I think Luca went down to play at a Pitts Academy, right? Yeah, in, the Pittsburgh uh, Penguins. Pittsburgh, so, and Pittsburgh uh, Penguins. Uh, yeah, so that's nice to see that. And uh, so there we go. That's the first Sault Ste. Marie native's name we've seen. And we'll give him props. Uh, and Cont uh, pardon me. And there's Contaline, and he goes the other way. He shoots on that. It goes very wide. Albert. Albert. He tries to get it in, but he can't. Miko Giannikas comes around. He breaks his point. He breaks, goes around Contaline. And Contaline and pulls him down. No call there. Here's number 17, that's Piggott. He tries to get that puck in deep, he can't do so. Cowan's on him, and so's Albert. Albert, and it goes back to actually Gravel. Gravel, he tries to move it to DiBerdino, but Senkai's there. Albert gets it, gives it to DiBerdino. DiBerdino then picks it up again. But there's Collins, Collins, Senkai. Go, or, yeah, Senkai, go the other way. 95, Gardner shoots, blocker save. And there's the Johnston. He tries to get it out, and he does so. No icing as it hits the Oldenhoff skate. LeBlanc is all over number 16, Oldenhoff. Trying to put him in the boards. Eight, Caruso chases as well. Big hit on Gravel. Yeah, hits huge. Oldenhoff. And there we go. There's another nice hit. Hounds are starting to play the body a bit. Gravel has that puck. And he's in there deep. Sends it up to Caruso. Caruso breaks out. He's got Dupuis with him. And he leaves it for Dupuis. Dupuis has LeBlanc up top. And Nigi fans on that. And they'll go the other way. They'll wax it. But Rio takes it off a of Gardner's stick. And Collins calling for someone to come on for him. Caruso, he'll try to chip it in. He's unable to do so. Gardner just spins around, dumps it all the way in. And uh, him and Pop will get a change. And... There's Butt. Butt sends it across. Burt has it now. Burt to Butt to Burt. And they send it out of the end, so the Hounds will chase them in the uh, neutral zone. And it's chipped up to Solomon. Solomon tries to skate it in now. Solomon skating it in. And he gets it on net. It's deflected in the corner. Caleb Walker gives it to Dupuy. And 
Walker's tripped up and they're gonna call that. Good on him. Yeah, that's gonna be 100% yeah, no, a penalty. Yeah, for sure. You said that was Walker going to the box, sorry? No, no, Walker, uh, he was the one oh, tripped. Oh, right, right, yeah. Wharton is going to the box. Wharton Amari tripped Wharton. him up, yeah. And he's also another physical player for this Markham Waxers team, but this time it'll result in a penalty against him. So good opportunity for the Greyhounds to come back and make it a one-goal game here. Their power play has been killer all week, hasn't it? For sure. And so here we go, Bell. Back McDonald to Liam Watson. He'll go to the center and Cowan, top of the right cir left circle. And, and pardon me, the goalie's right. And it comes back to McDonald, back to Watson. Watson will walk the line, look for a shot. He gives it to Cowan. Cowan moves in, he tries to shoot. Hits number 28, Popov. And the waxer, Piggott, all over it, and he dumps it all the way down. One thing about him is he works very hard. He's very hard to get off the puck. Yep. And it turns to number 17, Piggott, able to keep it in. Gives it back to Gardner. Gardner Whoa. misses the top corner that was fully open, and it goes completely wide. Piggott just crushes number 10, McDonald. McDonald dumps it back to Liam Watson. Liam Watson gives it to Cowan. Cowan's going to turn. Give it back up to McDonald. McDonald loses it again. So Cowan will have to go back again. 58 seconds left in the penalty. Cowan starts to go this, come out through the neutral zone. Crosses the blue line, the red line, the second blue line. Now he's across. Will he set or will he just try to shoot? And one and done. Dose Reese, he gets it. Pins it up against the boards. He's looking for someone open here. He's skating with it now. He's not giving it away. He gets pinned down and the defenseman just cannot keep it in and it goes all the way down and Marson comes out to play it. Now he dumps it up to Bell on his own. Bell makes his way. He goes across the blue line, brings it in deep. He goes on the net and he's looking for the open player. Real has it. Back to Reggett. Reggett over to Bell. Bell walks the, through the line. Back to Real. Real can't do anything. Reggett or LeBlanc takes the shot, nothing there. Goes behind the net, DiBerdino. He sends it back to Raggett, Raggett, back to DiBerdino. DiBerdino is trying to center, no one was home. So Raggett's gonna have to go all the way back, but we've got an icing. Yeah, it'll be an icing, and it'll just come all the way down to the other end of the rink. 14.38 left to go. Thank you to our sponsor for this tournament, our goal sponsor or sorry, our period sponsor, the Sioux Thunderbirds. Our goal sponsor, uh, that would be Thompson Hardwood Flooring. Our power play sponsor, JDM Sports. And our other sponsor, Sioux Concussion Clinic. Thank you very much for supporting local Sioux St. Marie Sports. And here we go, Collins. Collins turns, sends it out high, but Dupuis able to keep that puck in. And the Waxers are able to finally get it out. Johnson, he keeps it because he would have been offside if he kept moving. Caruso, he's on the puck now. Gives it back to his D. The defensemen send it up the boards, and it's going to be no icing. And there's Senkai. He's on the puck. Escasa tries to take him out. Sent up to the forwards. Here we go. Collins and Johnson in together. Sends to Johnson. Johnson shoots, scores again. That's a hat trick for Matthew Johnson. And that's a really early hat trick with over half the game left to go, 5-2 Waxers. And he, someone definitely wants that player of the game trophy and that free trip to the Hockey Hall of Fame, that's for sure. And what a shot by Johnson. Here we go, face off, 13-32 left to go in the second period. And Cowan will draw and uh, walk in and set up here. Caleb Walker on the side with him with Schultz. Here they go. Schultz and Walker, they put some pressure on. And there we go. Well, that wasn't a hand pass. Uh, anyways, I'll let it go. <laughs> but uh, he did knock it down with his hand, but that's all I thought it was. So he might have seen something I didn't, and that's okay. So here we go. Cowan takes the draw again. Sends it over to Schultz's side. Cowan will have to put it back to the D. Real has it. Real 
pushes it to Cowan. Cowan kind of misses it. Yep. Cowan's in on it, but he gets gets up. Johnson takes it out, and he sends it up to Govindares. Govindares takes a shot. Here's rebound. Oh, Schultz is on it now. He tries to just put it to the boards and pin it there. Reggett's on it. He's got his partner real, but instead he sends it up to Caleb Walker. Caleb Walker doesn't really do much with it. And it's gonna be behind the net. It's rimmed all the way around. Comes out to Burt. Caleb wasn't able to get to it. So real turns. Now Caleb Walker has it. He sends it to uh, Cowan. Cowan gives it up. Going to Schultz. Him and Walker, they'll all take a change. And the waxers break out. Burt sends it up to Golden Dares. And Liam Watson will retreat and try to get that puck out. He almost does, but he has to backtrack. Reels there, but instead he turns and goes up the ice. Nice to see. And that's nice. And he's still going. He's still near the puck. And Mankiss is on it now. Mankiss plays it up to Miko Giannikis. And there's Piggott. Piggott. He gives it cross side. Misses. Ooh. And Johnston takes the puck. He just rims it out. And it's just the, the, it's the, the passes are just not tape to tape right now. And nice hit, though, there on Johnston blade. And that'll be number 16, Bell, trying to get the puck. He's got McDonald helping him out. And they just don't can't seem to get it out. And yeah. Dos Reese has it now. McDonald's with him. Dos Reese, McDonald, they both go together, but they both also lose the puck. And now there's Bell. He turns. He goes in. He's got room. He's going to try and split the D, but doesn't really split anything. No. Johnston. He gives it up, he goes to Miko, but Reggett's back there now. Miko Gianic is all over him. Reggett rims it back to, to uh, McDonald. McDonald tries to push it back to the other D. He's unable to really do so. And that puck goes all the way up. Up and over, and it'll be a stoppage in play. 11.04 left to go in the second period. Oh, and yes, there was a, just a huge draft pick. Evan Hedrick from Garden River, First Nation, and the Oakville Rangers under 16 will be a Kitchener, Kitchener Frontenac. Wow, Kitchener that Ranger. Is awesome. Shout out GR. Kitchener Ranger. Or Kitchener Ranger, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. So that's huge. So, you know, right today, that's the only ones we're going to call is hometown boys that aren't playing in this tournament. Yeah. Um, so that's huge, huge. Yeah, we just want to do that just so in case no, there's yeah. any conflicts with the family exactly. or someone doesn't hear yet. You know, it's unlikely they're watching that stream. We just want everyone on our stream exactly. to know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's nice to see. Absolutely. And that is. family is uh, one of, that's one of the biggest, I'd ha say, producer Jay probably would agree with me, that that family is probably the, one of the biggest hockey families in the city. Awesome. So Owen Hedrick played in the O. Uh, he's going to go to the O. I think there's another son, Jay. No, and then there's a sister, two sisters. One plays U Sports and one plays Midget. Or, sorry. Uh, Bemidji State. Hedrick's right. at Bemidji State. So they, they, there, there's a family of hockey. Well, they're in Bemidji, Minnesota. Yeah. And you know anything about Minnesota, that's a hockey state. But that just, that's team, that. They just have hockey yeah. in their blood. It's great. That's awesome. And that the they... parents support it. They're there all the time. Yeah. They're an amazing family. Here we go. I think that's also just one more thing to add. I think that's awesome. They put Garden River, Ontario, oh, they, and they showing would respect to his that. reserve. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. No. So Cowan takes a shot. It goes high. There's number 10. That's McDonald. Gives it back to Watson. Cowan has it. Cowan just dumps it to Dos Reese. Dos Reese tries to send it back to Cowan. Sends it back to Dos Reis. Dos Reis sends it out to McDonald. McDonald can't get anything on it, and they are starting to get a little frustrated here. McDonald puts it across the count, and it's just like it's, they're always one step yeah. behind the puck. So there we go. Liam Watson sets up, and they're headed the other way. Cowan, he comes across. He's going to stop. He's going to send it to Liam, but it goes out. Three minutes left in that penalty. That was a four minute penalty. And that sent up to Bell. Bell has Dolce Reese in on it. 
and they'll get it and it goes all the way down into the Hounds territory. And Reggett stops behind his net, Piggott gives him a little pressure, sends it up to Real. Real across to the forward and that's McDonald. McDonald loses it to Albert. Albert now puts his player into the net, uh, boards butt. There's another Waxers player and he goes the other way. Piggott's there. He tries to slap it and he misses that and that'll go into the corner and Gardner's after it. Now we've got uh, Escasa. Escasa carries it out. He's got DiBerdino and Albert with him. Albert goes offside. And 8.49 left to go in period two. Markham five, Sioux St. Marie two. Shots 21, Markham two, Sioux St. Marie. This period so far, oh, I do apologize, my game sheet clicked off. And now in this period so far, Markham have seven shots and the Greyhounds have zero. So that's the first round, 17 picks. And two of the picks are from Sioux St. Marie. That's amazing. Yep. That is absolutely amazing. Is that the norm up here? Yeah. No, it used to be a lot more. Yeah. Um, it's starting to come back because we're starting to get, um, anyways, it's starting to come back. That's good. And that's a great thing to yeah, see. Yeah, that is. This class gets hit there, and it comes out, and there's Cohen, or Cowan again. And he tries to make something. That's a high stick. He plays the puck, and they blow it down. Yeah, and that's awesome to see. You know, a community of 70,000 people have such an impact on the Ontario Hockey League. Mm. That's just awesome. And 8.15 left to go. And it's not just the Sault Ste. Marie region. There's guys from, you know, like we said, Garden River. You know, Denny's uh, from Wawa. Yeah. And there's a lot of great hockey players from there. He's a member of the yeah. Bachelorana uh, so First So J- Jeremy Stevenson, he's from uh, Kirkland Lake. There you go. I forget where he's from, but he's not from here. <laughs> well, the region. He's like Elliot Lake or something. Yeah, Elliot Lake. Yeah, it's just a hockey hotbed yeah, here. So, you know, it's it's the surrounding area. And, you know, Jeremy Stevenson and Lambert, those are two boys you didn't want to drop gloves with, though. Yeah, yeah, Tell Lambert that. was a bad dude. Yeah. I watched and a little unfortunately, bit. Unfortunately, we could give a shout out to a uh, player from uh, Wawa there that just passed. Yes. And uh, Chris Simons, you know, that great guy, great community guy. Uh, hats off to him. And uh, we are really thinking about uh, not only the family, but the community. Here goes Miko Gianicus the other way. Gives it back to Govindaris. Govindaris tries to just put it on net and unable to do anything there. Absolutely. And uh, was Guelph, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Just a uh, quick, like, I want to give my condolences to uh, the Simon family and the community of Wawa, Ontario. Like you said, he was a very important guy in his community. And, uh, yeah, just my deepest condolences and my yeah. thoughts and prayers. So I don't know what's happening here. Oh, they're trying to put the guys back on the ice that were there. So they do so there, and now it comes back. But, yeah, Keegan Stevenson, who is actually behind the bench here, coaching with his dad. He played for the Guelph uh, Storm as well. So there's uh, two OHL, three OHL players on that bench. There you go. So uh, that will alumni, I'll say. And here goes LeBlanc. LeBlanc breaks out. And he sends it back to Liam Watson. Liam Watson all the way up to Real. Real, he puts it in. Dupuis on it. Dupuis tries to chip it, hits the mesh, and we'll get a stoppage of play. Up and over, and 6.57 left to go in that second period. And we got a face-off in front of the Markham goaltender. And here we go. And Puck drops and comes back to Kontalainen. Kontalainen walks the line. He tries to get a shot on that, unable to do so. And Johnston, he miscues that, and he'll have to backtrack out to the red line. And he dumps it all the way in, and Dupuis on it. LeBlanc will go behind the net. He'll miss that hit, and Caruso will start to chase the Wharton. Wharton comes and turns there and gives it all the way across to Koza. Koza tries to play it, but he can't hit it. And it goes off the boards and comes out. 
There's uh, Caruso on it, but he loses it to Collins. Collins takes a shot. Greyhounds are trying to get that puck out of there. Another shot on net, and it's behind the net. Collins has it. He's trying to do flip it over top the net a bit. It gets off, hits the stanchion, weird bounce. Good one for the Hounsel. They're able to get a change, and they better hustle here if they're gonna change. And uh, the boys come on. The Scoss is out there. Schultz and Caleb Walker. Here we go, Johnston. And they just can't get it out. Johnston now again tries. He gives it across. Walker has it. Walker gives it up to Escasa. Escasa gives it up to Schultz. Schultz can't grab it. So Caleb's on it as well. And so is Escasa. Escasa chips it. Caleb Walker comes in as well. It hits the mesh and goes out. And, I... and the Hounds will keep those boys out for. Oh, oh, no, pardon me, the, the, the uh, defenseman Reggett's going to switch off with Quanta Linen, but the rest are going to stay out there. And I just want to make a quick comment before we start here. And I accidentally made a mistake. I said that Javon Johnson was a graduating player. I meant to say Caden Johnston. Javon Johnson's an AP player. I do apologize for that. So congratulations for Caden Johnston for graduating out of the Sioux U18 program. And Escasa gets to the boards, Walker's on it. Walker pins it against the boards as well. And Escasa's in there trying to help him out. He gets hit from behind by Wharton. Wharton tries to get it out. Real tries to keep it in. He does so, sends it over to Reggett. Reggett puts it on net. Escasa tries to tip it, but instead, and oh, Caleb Walker tries to put it in. Big high stick there on Escasa. He goes down, and there's no call whatsoever, and I'm not sure what really happened to him, but I thought he took a stick in the throat. But uh, they'll just stop. Nice to see that he's okay and not hurt. He'll shake that off. Uh, the linesman and ref are talking, but it's just going to be called. They'll drop the puck outside. And I'll make a quick note. Producer Jay just sent me some cool information. The head coach of Mark and Waxer has actually played eight seasons in the NHL. Coach Dan Doust played eight, sorry, eight seasons with the Maple Leafs and one season with the Montreal Canadiens and actually represented Team Canada at the Spangler Cup twice. Nice. That's really cool. It's, so he's probably with Jeff Toms too. There you go, Sault Ste. Marie product. Yeah. So here we go, it back checks Watson has it. He'll bring it back. He puts it up to Di Berdino. Then Di Berdino, Cowan keeps that puck in. And Watson, he pinches and keeps it in. And now it comes up high. That's uh, Helfenstein. He'll get that puck. Mikko Giannikas is on it with him. Johnston's trying to get the puck out. Cowan's trying to help him. Miku Jonik is just so hard to get off the puck. He's an amazing player. Yeah. And he Bert is. has it. Bert dumps it all the way down. He, and it gets into the corner. And it's sent back to the back end. There's a nice shot from number 17, Pickett. That oh no, 27. That isn't Pickett. That's Manicus. He's got a nice uh he's got he's a nice player oh. too. Shot on net by Burt, straight on. Goalie saw that all the way. Yeah, no problem at all for the goaltender. 3.42 left to go in the second period. And just gonna go down in front of the goaltender. So the next pick there for the OHL is uh, on the clock, will be the Hounds, I think. Here we go, puck drop, and it comes out, and Doss Reese uh, will try to get there, and he does so, but uh, McDonald will get it. McDonald, he sends it back to Reggett. Reggett sends it all the way up to Dos Reis. Dos Reis can't do much with it. Wharton now carries it back in. Bell has it. Bell circles. He starts to put the burners on, but he's kind of pinched off there. They are really good at trapping players in, in, uh, be, in the red line and below, that's for sure. And it comes out, Dos Reese now breaks the line. He makes a nice move, unable to pass it across. And number five, Koza will break out with it. He goes, chases it all the way down. Reggett will get there though. And Koza takes Reggett into the boards. Real gets it. And there we go, it goes out to number 58. Big save by Barson. 
and Rose Reese will go turn the other way. He puts the burners on. He's got Bell far behind him, and he falls, goes into the boards. Number seven picks it up from Mazzotti. Real has it now. Johnson goes the other way with Collins. Back to Johnson. Johnson back there to Govinderes. Govinderes back again. Nice hits the pad. Bell cranks Govinderes. Caruso goes the other way. The goal, one of the goal scorers for the Hounds. But there we go. It comes all the way back. Liam Watson will have to pick it up. It comes out to Caruso. Caruso dumps it in. Dupuy gets the puck over to Bell. Shot. No misses there. Now number 91 Johnson breaks out for the Waxers. He makes a beautiful move on Liam Watson and he shoots. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. It'll probably be a hooking call. Yeah, most likely. And it is. And the Sioux Greyhounds have selected out of Pentish. Penetinguishi, oh. Ontario. They selected the Markham Majors U16 prospect, Ryder Cali. The six foot one, 195 pound center. That's a big boy for a 16 year old player. So we're going to see what he can do in the 705 next year. We're very excited to welcome him to the Greyhound family. Penetinguishing. Penetinguishing. So here we go, it comes out, out to the line. Burt, he carries it, comes across. Mankiss is on the point. They send it back down to the Gardner. Gardner to Piggott, Piggott to Burt. Burt misplays it, but doesn't go out. Does skip over the stick of the winger and go all the way deep in. So he'll have to try to keep it out, but goes back to Burt, Burt. Mankiss is open. Sends it back to Piggott. Piggott. Piggott goes towards the net. Burt's way down in the hash marks now. He sends it cross ice over the boards. They keep it in. Man kiss. Man kiss to Piggott. Piggott. Down to Gardner. Gardner. Comes up. Gives it back to Burt. Burt looks to Man kiss. Man kiss. Walks the line. Gives it over to Piggott. But they lose it now. And Burt will have to play it over to Man kiss. Mankis walks in, and he's going to probably have to circle back out, and he does so. And now there's Burt again. Burt will have to move. It's Escotza. He put pressure and called for a change. Schultz jumps the boards, and they're killing the penalty now. They only have 44 seconds left. They only have 40 seconds left in the second as well. Yeah, 40.6 seconds left. Shots 28 Markham to Sault Ste. Marie. And a tough game for the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds because once Ottawa had beaten Timmins today, they knew they were mathematically eliminated from the playoff round. So it's good for them to just stay motivated, try to get a victory today and, you know, finish it on a positive note. The Sioux Greyhounds have had their fair share of coming back from three goal deficits in this tournament already against Ottawa, able to turn that 5-1 game into a 5-4 game and nearly forced overtime. And here is the Markham Waxers with possession. Yeah, and it goes into the corner there, and the puck will be taken out, hopefully, by, there we go, number seven gets it for the Waxers, and that is Mazzotti, he gets it, puts it to his partner, and now it's a little bit of a dipsy doodle, goes in there, Piggott gets the puck, big save on Marsons, the puck was, uh, Free and uh, Johnson put it in there uh, after the whistle, though, so that's okay. Yeah, a bit of a premature whistle. Yeah, but that, we've seen that quite a bit, actually. We've seen that a little bit, especially today. Yeah, yeah. And, and that might, might be the way that they're told to call the game. I don't think as it'll be. As soon like, as you don't see the puck, yeah, call it. I don't think it'll be like that Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. We'll see. Yeah, we will. So the puck gets there, and Real will just keep hold, and those guys will go off. For a break, the Greyhounds will have only three seconds left on Liam Watson's penalty. So let's go take a break there. Shots at the end of the second period. Markham 15, Sault Ste. Marie 2. And if Rod has nothing else to add, my name is John Ostrowski. We will see you in 15 after our coffee break.
Welcome back to this game between the Hounds and the Markham Waxers finishing off this round robin series of the OHFs here. They will, or pardon me, Wolves. The Hounds are gonna be on a penalty kill for three seconds. And, you know, let's play homage. This, this is the last game this for this Hounds team. They first started off the season uh, co totally different coaching staff, administration. They were in last place at one time. Yep, and for but, a while too. Yes, and we were able to watch this team all year, call this team all year, and you just saw them progress. And, yeah. you know, I called it early. I said, I think they're going to end up number four. And they actually ended up to be the number three team in the league by the end of it. And that is the reason why Lambert was coach of the year. Yeah, and let's let's say it one more time, and then we'll focus more on the players. Full props to Coach Denny Lambert. I and I Stevenson and and Stevenson as well. Excuse me, uh, Lambert and Stevenson came in around. And Ty and Zachary's on there, and yeah. and uh, the young uh, Stevenson. He's also on the bench, so they you know they've got a good coaching staff. Yeah, and this crew came in around November, so that's yeah. a really hard. As a, oh, oh my, Joe, my God. goodness. So I just had between periods there, Johnson's dad just came up to me and said, thanks, you just called my kid's name out three times really good. Well, now four. So that's the fourth. What a goal by Johnson. And he goes and rims it high. And we're looking and at him. And that's another one. His <laughs> dad looks over at me and says, that's my boy. Yeah, it looks like it's just a normal day at the office. Yeah, He's hardly so, smiling. And <laughs> yeah. But he said, this isn't the game that matters. Tomorrow matters more. And he's right about and that. And that's the mentality of a killer. Exactly. When you're saying, this game doesn't matter. Four goals isn't enough. You Let's got go it. do it when it matters. So here we go. The Waxers, they're behind the net. They push it up and it goes up to Helfenstein. And peg it. he'll dump it all the way in. And Marsons will stop that there. Contalinen's out, he plays the puck. Reggett gets it all the way, it goes all the way out and Oldenhoff's after it. Dos Reese is all over him. Dos Reese there, McDonald. It comes back to Helfenstein again. And there's Piggott. And he sends it in. It goes all the way in. Dos Reese, he'll just let it go, and it goes down. He'll go off for a change. And, and Oldenhoff. Sorry, go ahead. And that was the 15th leading score in the OMHA and a U18 All-Star, Matthew Johnson, with his fourth goal of the game. And like we said, his father had, had the skating tracker in here for him and obviously uh, really, really involved with his kid's uh, hockey career. And that's just great to see when you know, a, a parent is, is as invested as a child and just doing the right things and, you know, work, seeing what the child's doing with his workouts and what he's doing on the ice. It's just great to see. And yep, we'll get sure. back to the game here as Sue possesses the puck here. Liam Watson will go. He tries to get that puck out, but Pickett's all over him. And there's Watson and Cowan's in the way. And Watson's getting frustrated, rightfully so. Miko Giannikas, he breaks uh, down Koza to gets the puck. He goes cross ice. Reggett sticks his head, uh, stick out and stops that. Marsons plays it off his walker. Now it goes all the way out and Koza plays it. Back to number seven, Maziota. Maziota. And uh, Mazzotta, I mean, sorry. And Cowan is out there. Number seven dumps it all the way in. Johnston sends it back. And now Albert will head out. He's got uh, Walker with him. Albert, Walker, back to Walker. Walker shoots. Nice, gets off a shot, tries to center it. Can't uh, get it inside. So he'll go and chase it right in that, but hits uh, number seven. Now Goza breaks out. He's got Wharton, he sends it to Wharton. Now Butt has it, Butt shoots. Oh. Stick save there for Hounds, goes off the mesh. And they're trying to chop it off the mesh, but it's stuck there, so they'll blow it down. And, and that's the right thing to do, just yeah. blow the whistle and get a change, well, teams can get a change if they want and just kind of get the flow of the game back. 16 minutes left to go in the round robin as a whole. And the puck comes outside, rightfully so, as the uh, Waxers were the ones that put it up on the net. Yes. So that's, that's why it came out. 
Schultz fights hard. He stays on the puck. And Caruso and Escosta are also out there. Kontalainen on the back end with Real. Goes all the way in. Kontalainen plays against Wharton. Real has it. He brings it back to his partner, Kontalainen. Kontalainen dumps it out. And there's Solomon. Sends it back to the D. But it's across ice, but he misses it. Over to Real. Real to Kontalainen. He sends it up the wall. Schultz has it now. Schultz breaks in across the blue line. Gives it to Caruso. Over to his partner. Hits the post. Open oh. net. There's a big miss there for the Hounds. They could have had another one, but that's all right. And Mankiss has it. Mankiss just dumps it in. Von King's U16 player just went. So we're just going to keep on going here. And we're going to talk about that later tomorrow. Yes, we Pop will. He'll get that puck in. And he gets it over to him. Marsons puts the legs out. And they can't get the puck in. Marsons on the ground. He can't get up. Now he's finally up. And that's Senkai. He sends it all the way in. Raggett gets pinned on the boards. And there's number 58 sends it in. Senkai back to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff shoots. Tips by Piggott. Shot on net by number 95 Gardner. William Watson, Popov gets a shot. Caruso now. He tries to get it out, he does so. Comes out to center. Oldenhoff sends it back in. Gardner gets the puck. He's looking for someone open. Shoots it on net, goes off a shin pad. Walker's up on it, hits Senkai. And there's a shot on net again, Reggett. And whistle's blowing. I think the net went off or he got hit in the head with the puck. And 14 minutes left to go in the hockey game, 6-2. to two. Rod, what have you liked from the Sioux Greyhounds today? Oh, I just like that they haven't given up, yeah. right? They're still trying. They're, they're not, they don't look, you know, this team's been together. Actually, some of these kids have played together for 10 years or even more, right? Well, guaranteed. On the same team. So, you know, it, it's an emotional time for not only the kids, it's an emotional time for the parents that yeah, are, of course. are leaving as well. And, you know, we talked to uh, A.J. Borelli's dad. Uh, I, well, him and I talk a lot. And he even said, uh, Marson's uh, the trainer's going to come out there. And I'm not sure if he's, oh, he's going to fix the helmet, I think. And um, I talked to A.J. Borelli's dad. And uh, yesterday, you know, he, he said he was having an emotional day. He said, it might be the last time I ever get to see my kid play in a Hounds uniform. Yeah. And, and, like, that's an emotional thing, you know. And and it's nice to see that passion that, uh, at this level because it's not only the kids that have it, it is the parents. And that's why you see parents kind of their emotions get out of hand sometimes in the stands. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, unfortunately, it doesn't look great. Um uh, but you're seeing that less and less now, so it, that's that's a good thing. And, I, and they nip it in the bud, right? The referees, they'll kick you just right out. Yeah. Right away. And I think another great thing is that that Hounds logo is just so synonymous with the city of Sault Ste. Mm. Marie. And just wearing it for any of these young men, I can't imagine the level of pride they have for both their city and for their, you know, their hockey brothers for wearing that that greyhound dog on their uniform like the for greatest sure. hockey player of all time wore it that's amazing yeah for sure no mario lemia didn't play here. hey <laughs> come on don't try to be controversial <laughs> i'm not <laughs> oh we're gonna I have wore, to have a discussion on i the walk wore 66 <laughs> <laughs> so here we go it comes out mcdonald or mcdonald's on it closes fighting with him Bell crosses the blue line. We're going to get a delayed offside there. And number eight, Govindera sends it up. And there we go. Nice shot on net. 71 tries to get a rebound. That was Johnson again lurking around. What a game for this young man. certainly dialed right in today. What a game for this young man. It's just, yeah. I so think. I, I, like his dad said, he hadn't had a great tournament yet, but. You know, it looks like he's one of those guys that just build up, right? Yeah. Builds, builds, builds. And once it gets to be more important, the better and better and better you get. So, you know, it's nice to see. So here we go. Puck drop. Piggott It's going to take the draw. He drops it. He, Cowan wins it. It comes all the way back. 
And Liam Watson, he's able to dump it to center ice and 18 D. Berdino chases it, puts him against the wall. Cowan gets on it. Albert has it, shot, goes over top the net. Liam Watson keeps it in. It goes all the way behind the net. Di Berdino centers it. Liam Watson was two steps out and he almost wasn't able to uh, check uh, Miko Gianicus there. And there's Helfenstein. He gets a puck. There's Watson. Watson turns. Di Berdino. I mean, pardon me, Cowan. Cowan turns. Heads the other way. And Cowan's in deep now by himself. Trying to look for someone open. The D are open. He's going to send it to Johnston. Johnston takes the shot. Short side. Love save. And just going back to something we were talking about earlier, the Sault Ste. Marie product, Luca Blonda, went in the draft to the Sudbury Wolves and three seasons with this under 18, or one season with the under 18 Greyhound team, played about five games, and two seasons with the under 16 program. So congratulations, and we'll head back to the game. And here we go. That's nice too because that's only three hour ride for the family. Absolutely. So they'll get to watch him a lot. And Probably almost every game if they yeah, wanted. For sure. I actually went to school with the father. Uh, same grade school, same high school. So I know the family, not great, but it's nice to see uh, them, the child rewarded for the hard work and uh, yeah. You know, and so that name's all over St. Mary's football oh, as well. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a football family. That's a sports family. Yeah, Raggett has the puck, sends it over to Schultz. Schultz, he tries to move out, can't do so. Back to Raggett. Few Schultz. No, I mean, who is that? Six. Johnston. Schultz moves in, gives it over to Walker. Walker, he gets stick checked. And it comes out all the way. That line will get a change. Kontalainen dumps it all the way in. He's going to chase it. He's looking to label the player. He puts him in the boards a bit. Dupuy will back check it, and he'll bring it over to Real. Real skates it out, uh, but he loses it. Gardner's fighting hard on him. And Dupuy chips it in. Caruso's on it. He's up against 15. Or pardon me, 17 Piggott. They send it back. That's the captain, Piggott. He has the puck. Sends it out. Popov has it now. And he sends it over to number 95, Gardner. Gardner moves in. But William Watson, he's able to corral the puck. Keeps it on the boards. But there's number 95, Gardner. He pushes it out to Piggott. And Dupuy's able to get it out. LeBlanc, they start to move up ice. And it's a slow-moving affair right now. And now it goes the other way. Here's Gardner. Gardner takes a shot. Blocker. Save. Comes this way. Dupuis moving. Goes across the red line. Moves over the blue line. Sends it over to Raggett. He puts it in the corner. And there's a change for the Hounds. And there's those threes. He's going to try and get that puck now. He does so. But he gets hit by mm, I don't, 28 from Walker or Waxers and uh, I don't know why he was calling for a penalty but there's Collins, Collins plays up again, Johnson oh, oh nice, it's a pad looking for a five hole I'm sure and here we go, Bell goes the other way, he sends it over to Dos Reese, he gets hit by Johnson, Johnson's gonna go off to the sin bin yeah definitely uh, Caden Johnson, Johnston rather taking a two minute break Oh, no, sorry, that was uh, Matthew Johnson, I believe, on the... Uh, uh, was that not who took the penalty? I thought it was. Yeah. I don't think he knows. I I wonder if we're making the mistake Maybe we here. made a mistake. It's very... Yeah, you know what? It could have been that we a made mistake. a mistake. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Yeah, no, Matthew Johnson is not on a penalty. He's right out there on the ice. So it could have been a high stick that we missed. Yeah, sorry about that. That's, that's probably possible. what it was. So the Greyhounds keep going. There's Cat or pardon me, McDonald. He's working hard. He's on the boards, but they break out. And there's Johnson. He goes. Govindaris with him. He's looking. He's carrying the puck in still. 
Gets into the corner. Real. Tries to make a move. Go over there to the front. There. Oh, there's the save. And it comes back out. Collins goes back to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff sends that puck in. Contalinen. And the uh, Hounds goalie Marson makes the save. And a nice save by the goaltender Nick Marson. 9.45 left to go. Pretty much, I guess you could say, 9.45 left to go in the Greyhound season. Down by four goals, 6-2 to two against the Markham Wachters. They definitely, this isn't the tournament that the Greyhounds wanted, however. They came out great. They had, I thought they had a great tournament, you know, beating the tur what, who you could say is the tournament favorite, the 5-0 and uh, Waterloo Wolves. They only got beat by a score of 5-2 to two and looked competitive the entire game. And then, of course, they uh, had their game against the, who was this? That was the Ottawa 67s, where they looked, they looked a little dead in the water, but they really made it interesting. Three goals in five minutes, made it 5-4 for a couple minutes until uh, Ottawa was able to get that insurance marker. And then, of course, yesterday, or sorry, on Wednesday, they had the not the, their worst game of the tournament, the 7-0 loss against Vaughn. Honestly, the less said about that one, the better. However, on Thursday, they came out and they beat Timmins 5-1. They played their game. They didn't play Timmins game. There was a lot of rough stuff. There was a lot. Of, it was a rivalry game, so you can expect that. But they came out 1-5-1, and today they're able to come out, you know, make a period of hockey interesting and really made Markham work for their first four or five goals. And I thought that was a very successful tournament for the Yeah, Hounds. for sure. Yeah, so kudos to them. We'll finish them off here. Yeah. This Casa, he uh, tries to play the puck, and we're going to get a call here. And both... So refs have their hands up, so they're gonna have to talk here. See who has who. Yeah. And that's uh, McRobbie and Hunter are the refs. There you go. McRobbie? I think I that's guess what McRobbie. it says, yeah. Yeah, McRobbie. So, which is nice. I think these, uh, the, these referees, I think they get chosen uh, to come to this. It, it, it's, it's like, you just don't sign up to come yeah you're picked to come like you got to be a top level well, referee in that and and the whole crew you can see them they sit down at the far end and they come and watch almost every game these refs yeah well we had houselander refereeing one of the games who is an well, ohl no, referee the, yeah so yeah. and paul chicho is also ohl yeah and there's a crossbar a lot of these guys play uh, ref in those uh, down, like some of these, a lot of these guys are probably down south uh, referees, right? So Yeah, you know what? Uh, speaking of who we just taught, it is a roughing penalty, excuse me, against number 37, Mikro Giannikis. So there was a penalty, and uh, someone like Paul Ciccio, I think he's a great ref. Uh, I thought he had a great tournament, and, you know, he yeah. always, was well, something I said, when there's a roughing penalty, he always makes sure he brings two guys to the box. I think that's you know, shows a lot of... Uh, attention to detail on his part and I just think he knows how to control a game. Here we go Liam Watson, he gets picked the cherry pick guard, goes the other way What a Bit. save! Nice save Cowan, he's on it he's starting to move Piggott was trying to put pressure on him that was Elfenstein that almost put the puck in the net Dos Reese tries to work that puck and he can't do much McDonald has it, goes across to Liam Watson, Liam Watson back to McDonald, McDonald Tries to get that shot through. He's unable to do so. Goes to Liam. Liam over to Cowan. Cowan takes a shot. It hits the goalie and goes to the corner. Now Cowan comes back out. He's just circling around. Gives it to Bell. Bell over to Watson. Watson gives it to Cowan. Cowan circles back. Gives it back to Watson. Watson. He'll look. He'll go to shoot. Nope. He gives it over to Cowan. Cowan. And he just takes a shot. Nothing there. So it comes back out. Bell, who look. Liam Watson, he's looking for the puck. Bell just turns, gives it to Cowan. Cowan over to McDonald. McDonald shoots. There's a deflection. Liam Watson's on it. Liam Watson carries it, comes to the center. He's going to keep looking. Looks for Cowan again. Cowan, shot. He gets kicked out again by the goalie. So here we go. There's a nice penalty kill there, that's for sure. 14 seconds left, but McDonald goes offside, puts his guys offside. So we will have a call with 10 seconds left with the penalty. 7.23 left to go in the hockey game. Last game of the round robin. Like I said a couple times on this broadcast, it's going to be a great day of playoff hockey tomorrow. Here's my bracket sheet. And at noon, 
Markham, second ranked, will play Vivon, who is third ranked. And at 315, first ranked undefeated Waterloo will play fourth ranked Ottawa. Those are your two games tomorrow. Catch them on Sioux Sports. And the Hounds have that puck in the Waxers' end, and they'll dump it, but here comes uh, the Waxers the other this way, but takes his man out, and here we go. Number 58, that's Solomon. He's all over his uh, player. That's LeBlanc, and he, Solomon rocks LeBlanc, and he goes in deep, butts in there now. He puts... Uh, Johnston into the boards. Wharton gets hit by Johnston. And there's Dupuy. He puts the glove. And uh, that wasn't a hand pass. Waved off by the referee. Johnston tries to put Ooh. it over. Reggett has it now. Reggett sends it up. There's a call. Our referee's going to take Johnston to the box. Yeah, I'd say so. He just labeled Wharton with a cross check. Uh, nice. You can see that Danny did not uh, like that. So yeah. Good bit of composure for Amari Warden to just skate yeah, away, no, not retaliate. Yeah, That's exactly. very mature for a young well, guy. Well, because they know they're going into tomorrow. So yeah. They're not going to do any funny stuff. Yeah, right? fair enough. But still, it's a yeah. good level of maturity there. Yeah. So here we go. Hounds. <clears throat> Albert's out there to take the draw. He's got Contalinen, Real, and DiBerdino. Bert has it now in the back. Sends it across. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. That was number 27. Man kiss just gets fed over. One-timer. Boom. In the net. And the Flint Firebirds prospect can have his first goal of the day. That was a gorgeous one. And very classy by the Markham Waxers not to do the high five line. Just escape back after being up five goals. Yeah. Uh, so. it's respectable. Yeah. There's Escasa, he takes the draw, loses it, and Albert pressures, and it gets chipped and comes out. Solomon's on it. Solomon gets hit by Escasa, but here comes the Waxers the other way, over to Mantis, oh. and he just misses that net and rams it off the glass. You could, you could hear how hard that sh wrister was when it hit the glass. So the Waxers now will change the forward line. The Greyhounds change the whole uh, kit and caboodle here. Yep. And uh, let's see what can happen. Cowan's out with uh, Schultz and Walker. Walker, he moves, and here it comes into Waxer territory. Hounds are kind of putting a little bit of pressure on a bit, and it goes off of Schultz's knee pad into behind the net. Walker chases it. He's going over to take the man. He plays the body, light. He puts the guy on his butt. And number nine, Liam Watson, rims it around. Here's Walker, beautiful chip pass to uh, Cowan. Cowan's ab not able to keep going forward. He goes east to west instead. Schultz puts it over to Cowan. Cowan didn't see that, so he missed it totally. And Schultz now, he is able to put the puck in, but the line just can't put anything together, so they go off. Yeah. And that's it. Here we go. Number Oldenhoff, 18, breaks the blue line, takes a wrister straight into the pads of uh, Marson, and that's an e easy save with only 4.56 left in the third. 4.56, like Rod said, in the third period. 44 waxers for the shots, 18 hounds. And a couple players are going to switch. Let's see who's coming on the ice now. We'll get ready. So pop if and butt, but Lou wins the draw, but Johnson gets the puck. McDonald sends it to Dos Reese. Dos Reese, he cuts in, shoots it towards the net, and doesn't really go anywhere near where he wanted it to. Real will come, send it back to Johnson. Johnston doesn't, uh, he's not able to keep it, Gardner able to get the puck off him. They Ooh. just chip it up over top, and Bell will chase after it. Senkai's back for it. Bell, he gets on it, and he does touch the puck, but he loses it very quickly. He's still in there, though. Now he has it. Bell's going to try and set something up, and they try to get it back to the D. They get it back to Johnston. He walks the line, and he's not able to get it on net, so Gardner will pick it up. He sends it out. It's into the neutral zone, and McDonald just dumps it down. 
behind the net and he'll go get a change. Bell puts pressure. He hits Sankai, but he's the one to go down. And now Popov comes out. He goes in. There we go. But cross over to Gardner. Back into front. Dupuy has it. Dupuy turns. He gets hit down. Popov has it. Sends it over to Butt. Butt and LeBron are working hard against each other. Sends it back. Oh. That was Mazzotti. But here we go. Dupuy goes the other way. He gets chipped. A stick check there. Dupuy still on the puck. Caruso's with him, helping out. Also LeBlanc. LeBlanc has it. He turns. He looks for someone. Reg it. Back. And we're going to get a penalty here. Oh, these two guys are getting into it. And now that we have a stoppage in the play, I would just like to really quickly give a shout out to our graduating players on the Sioux U18 Greyhounds. Caden Johnston, Samuel Gravel, SDR, Sebastian Doris, AJ Borelli, and LeBlanc. And it looks Wyatt like Duke LeBlanc, is, is. going to take a penalty here. And the boys are kind of banging on the glass there for uh, Dupuy, just saying, don't worry about it. There's Koza. Koza. Escoss is able to check that puck, and it comes all the way out. That's a four minute penalty that he got there. And here we go. The waxers will work at Piggott's, come in a chase after Liam Watson. Liam Watson misses the rim around. Real doesn't. They can't get the puck out though. Oh, there's Miko Giannikas. He's on it. Nope. They take it out. There's number seven. Mazzotti, he gets it out. Then Cools it carries it back in. Sends it in deep. Reels on the puck. He sends it over to Watson. Watson pins it on the boards. Piggott's on it. Miko Giannikas is on it. And they try to get it out, but unable to do so. And the Hounds send it all the way down. And the Waxers goalie just plays it to the side. And Koza is going to pick it up now. Koza picks it up. He works his way out the blue line. Unable to go too far. So Gardner will circle back. Gardner circles back. Miko Jonikas says, let's slow down, boys. Here's Miko. He goes behind the player. I think he was going to look for the back pass there. But they didn't do it. Gardner has it. Gardner leaves it for number... 28 pop if pop if sends it back and it goes to man kiss on the point for a second there back to pop if back to the wall back to does in one time and that was Bert on the back end there that did that and that'll go out into the Greyhounds uh, bench and John what do you think yeah I, I thought yeah went out in the Greyhounds bench for sure I thought the Hounds played I don't think they played, uh, you know, up to their absolute best that they could play, but they gave the Markham Waxers a good fight. And I do want to say one more player that is graduating. It is my apologies. Camden Cowan is one more player that is graduating. I thought he was an 08. I thought he had a couple years left. However, he is with this group. So Johnston, Gravel, SDR, Borelli, Cowan, and LeBlanc. Congratulations, gentlemen. Best of luck in your future a hockey career and best of luck in your future overall. And Liam Watson there on the back trying to move the puck. And there's gets Schultz, but they're unable to do so. Man kiss. And Man Kiss tries to move it in and he sends it back to Burt and back to Man Kiss. Man Kiss comes down behind the the net, Popov sends it back to him. Back to Popov. Popov works it. Sends it back. Burt has it. Back to Morton. Morton to Mankis. Back to Burt. Burt shoots. Nice save. Bad save. Another one. Another save. And Marson gets back up. Wharton sends it back to Gardner. Gardner gets checked by Contalinen. And the Hounds put it back but can't get it out. Burt. There's Marson with a glove save. And yep, another good glove save by Nick Marson. And 45 seconds left to go in the game. Pretty much will be it. People starting to file out in this one. And definitely not the desired result for the Greyhounds, but they should be very happy with the way they played and the way they played all week long. 
And a face-off, Collins, Tate Collins, the Owen Sound prospect, is just quite the player. Led the OMHA championships in store scoring and was a U18 All-Star. And 37 seconds left. Just going to finish this one out. Good save by the goaltender. And this has been a very, very good week so far. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in this week. Uh, it's been fantastic. Very, very tiring five days of hockey. You know, personally, I have my exams as well. And yeah, I wouldn't have given this up for the world. I, this was a great opportunity to call these games with Rod. We uh, were very excited for some more competitive hockey tomorrow, some more meaningful hockey. And uh, Nine seconds left yep, nine here, seconds and the left. Hounds will. That's it for them. And let's, you can see the uh, coaches tapping everybody, saying, you know, guys, heads up high. You played well. You deserve to be here. I don't care what anybody says. You know, at the beginning of the year, uh, you know, we had some other coaches from other teams that were criticizing, saying there's no way they're going to come out of the bottom. And uh, and I told them I was confident that Denny Lambert and Jeremy Stevenson would turn this team around. Yeah. And boy, did they do a great job getting. Uh, we hosted this, but, you know, they didn't win to come in, but they definitely deserve to be here. That's for sure. Absolutely. So, you know, we're going to send it over to uh, John to give our selection yes. on who we think the MVPs are or what we chose then we'll give it to the PA very quickly number 91 for the Markham Waxers Matt Johnson pretty obvious and Sammy Caruso number 8 for the Greyhounds your announcer's choice Johnson Caruso your players of the game here's the PA announcer